Here's a story that's going to have you scratching your head. Apparently, the TSA is allowing migrants who have been released from federal custody after crossing the border illegally to board flights without any identification. That's what a new report claims. The Washington Examiner says the agency is accepting notice to appear in court papers, even though that's not on their own list of acceptable ID. There's the ID right there. Here to react is former U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Transportation, Oliver McGee, who joins us today from down in Lubbock, Texas. Oliver, good morning to you. Oliver? Well, good morning, Steve. Good, good morning, Steve. Good morning. Can you explain to me, uh, okay, so the TSA is taking these migrants to the airport, and what are they doing with them? Uh, essentially, what they're saying is uh, if a person comes with a notice to appear in court, they're saying that's acceptable to board an airplane, and that is unacceptable for aviation safety and security. And so they're walking them around the checkpoint and directly onto the uh, plane, while you, Steve, and I are taking off our buckles and belts and suspenders and shoes and socks, and we're waiting in a long line to get past that same point. That's not acceptable. Okay. Uh, so what you're saying is they're walking around not only where you present present the regular documents, but they're walking them around the security screener. That's right. They're getting right past the security checkpoint. Okay. And that's, un yeah, that's unacceptable. And really, what right now, in the past decade, we've had one fatality yeah. associated with a safety and security breach in U.S. aviation uh, safety history in the last decade. So this is really a breach in that record for U.S. aviation, and that's what, what I'm concerned about today. I think and a lot of people, Oliver, who are see hearing this are going, what, what is that about? TSA provided this statement to Fox News. Uh, TSA has always had protocols in place for those who are unable to produce documentation and need to travel. However, we expect... And here's the key. The vast majority of travelers to appear with one of the documents listed on our website. That's right. Why are they and doing this, Oliver? Well, I think they're worried about the offload onto buses and trains in local areas. And so they're worried about trying to do this little Band-Aid fix, because if they have large number of asylum seeker uh, 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 migrants, hitting the airports, how do they offload them into other areas? And so that, they're worried about that type of situation of right. the, in the transportation system. But more, more, I'm most concerned today that if you have a breach in the security protocols, then you could have a disaster like Russian Metro Jack 9268. So you, that was basically the worst aviation history a disaster in Russian history. So we don't want to get to that no. point, especially when we have stellar aviation sure. safety and security in the United States. Indeed. Well, it's just shocking. Uh, most people didn't know that that was going on until just now. Oliver, thank you very much for joining us live today from Texas. Thank you, Steve.